Mason Melotakis has major league talent. He knows it, his coaches know it, and scouts know it. He's got a chance to pitch in big leagues for a long time. He's, he's good frame. Uh, the delivery is very clean. I'm definitely excited. I'm very pumped um, as far as the opportunity to, get, to play professional baseball. Um, that doesn't really happen for many people. And uh, I try not to think about it too much. I mean, obviously, it's in the back of my head. The junior lefty hasn't put up eye-popping numbers with the Demons. In fact, he didn't even become a closer until last season. But he has shown he has eye-popping potential. And that's why he got a chance to play in the Cape Cod League this summer, where he matched his talents against the best of the best in college baseball, an experience that in many ways prepared him for this season. Every time you go out there, you're facing you know, a three, four, five hole versus not just one through nine, you're facing all four holes who can all crush the ball, who can all hit the ball far enough or average and everything like that. So, I mean, it really, really helped my mental game out um, as far as that, just as far as uh, you have to think about it, each pitch, where to put it. The Cape is set up for guys that have a chance to play professional baseball. Uh, there are scouts there every night, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40 scouts every night. and. And not to mention he's with other guys that are just as good as him. All eyes will be on Melo Takis this season, and I do mean all eyes, and not just with the fans here in the stadium, but major league scouts who should be here all season long. In fact, nearly two dozen of them were here in early February to watch the left-hander pitch in an inner squad game. Oh, I let him know in advance, hey, there's going to be guys here tonight. You know, there's going to be cross checkers and so forth because I want him to be used to it. And we're up front and open about it at all. We talk about it at length quite a bit so that there's nothing that he's unprepared for. I try not to focus on it. You think of you think about the hitter and you're throwing to that catcher and you're, you're getting your outs. Um, I just try not to look at it um, as they're here for me or anything like that. I just. I see them, of course, but um, I don't let it get to my head or anything like that. So he is prepared for that jump to pro ball by playing under the lights of the Cape Cod League. He's also dealt with the pressure of Major League scouts watching his every move. But perhaps nothing has prepared him for that next step, better than getting the chance to work out with a Cy Young winner, Philly's lefty Cliff Lee. To see what he did and uh, the work ethic that he put in and how he did it, um, that's something I took away. I wrote it down and I continue it and uh, I, I, that was a great experience for me and um, helped my game up and I like to see, um, you know, he's, he's made it, he's, he's there, this is what he does. A solid work ethic is something his coach says he has in common with Lee and is one of the attributes that sets the junior apart. But the closer with the 95 mile an hour heater can only hope that work ethic isn't the only thing he shares with Cliff Lee. He too would like to be wearing a major league uniform sooner rather than later. In Nagadish, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.